the other side of wetness is dryness and when you have dry conditions you have yellow leaves so the other secret of the green thumb is yellow leaves mean too little moisture now here's a good example of that this is an aglaonema that got too dry and the older leaves turn yellow now newer leaves the leaves up at the top that doesn't count but when the older leaves turn yellow a lot of them that's a sign that it's too dry of course before the leaves turn yellow the plant is going to start and wilt see how wilty this is it's all drooping down and the leaves are all soft that's wilt so before you get yellow leaves you get wilt this is a little neon pothos and I think you might be able to see it's not real badly dried but it is starting to dry it is starting to droop and if it goes on without water it ends up looking like this which is first it's droopy then the leaves turn yellow and then they turn brown and they get all crispy and you can pull them off so that's what happens when it's too dry this is way too dry you don't want it to get like that but uh, you want to watch for the drooping it's telling you that the plant is too dry and here's another quick example of that this is a peace lily and it has dried in the past and when it dried the stems got soft and they started to droop over and they bent like this now the, pe the peace lily is a very hardy and very tough plant and you can see that when this one was watered again its droopy leaves started to come back up so although the stem is all droopy the leaves are trying to make a comeback and spas will do that but they will also even after they stand back up when they've been drooped down a lot of times those leaves will turn yellow this is not a yellow leaf telling you that there's too little water this is a yellow leaf that is basically dying because it had been dried in the past and it's not being able to come back like this one it's just the plants just going to throw that one away um, spaths are good plants for beginners because when they start to go too dry they droop the leaves will droop down like that all right now here's an example of spath the way it should look when it's telling you that it's ready to water the leaves as you see here are at about a 45 degree angle to the main stem that one there here's over on the other side the whole bunch of them all these leaves at about a 45 degree angle to the main stem when they bend over that much that's the spath signal that it's ready to water and you know you can use that as a signal for all the rest of your plants the spath is your your little canary in the coal mine plant telling you it's time to water everybody by the way, see this white stuff on the leaf? It's uh, pollen from the flower. Falls on the leaf. Sometimes people say, there's white stuff all over my leaves. What, what are they? What are they? What's bugs? It's not a bug. It's pollen from the flower. So you don't need to worry about that. The reason that this is so important to know for your watering is that if you're watering your plant and it's getting too dry, you know that you need to give it more water. It's the plant is talking to you. That's how the plant talks to you. If the leaves have little brown tips on them, you know that you need to be giving it less water. So when you come to it to water it the next time, you're not going to put so much water on it, or you're going to put more water on it. So that's why you need to be aware of the plant, learn their language, and use that to tell you when you need to water more, when you need to water less. And that's how you use the secrets of the green thumb.